Today we're saving some endangered turtles. Let's open this up and see what we got in here. We have a bunch of different types of turtles just raising up here. Okay. And right here. That's been here? They're in oh here. Oh my god, they're so small. What up Slayers, we're back at it with another Slay Venture and today we're saving some endangered turtles. What's really cool about these turtles is that they're only available in Florida and California as well as their native areas. Unfortunately, due to the harvesting of these turtles, they have become endangered and they're not able to be imported or exported anywhere nowadays. So I have a good friend named Mike. I'm gonna show you his Instagram right now. Here you have a photo of the babies that were just hatching not too long ago. And those are our babies that we're gonna be picking up today. And he has been breeding these guys for a long, long time. And he's fairly well known. And thanks to Blake, we went ahead and connected. And we're going to get some Indian spotted turtles together. Well, as you can see, we made it to Blake's exotic animal ranch. We're looking at Big G. His Galapagos tortoise he's right here. He's starting to get his name. Big G. Big G. These things get massive. Like, what, over 150 pounds? 150. What? Like 500. 500 pounds. <laughs> he rode one, you know, like into the sunset. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here because we're picking up our Indian spotted turtles with the help of blake we were able to go ahead and connect with mike and he went ahead and picked us up three beautiful indian spotted turtles bro can you go ahead and show us where they're at let's do it move this straight out of the way okay right here we have a bunch of different types of turtles just raising up here okay and right here that's been here they're in oh here oh my god they're so small they're so small they're hatching. They're, so they're, so they're about a week old he told me oh and my word. they're absolutely adorable Dude, how many did you end up getting? There's 11 in here. 11? Oh my god. So you're gonna keep eight, and yeah, then we're gonna take eight. three. Correct. So what's crazy and about- there's different bloodlines in here as well. Really? Yeah, they're different clutch mates, so. Oh, okay. Be good for the future. Oh, for sure, dude. I mean, we're gonna breed them with Blake, whether we get male, female, or other, you know? But, so cool. dude, this is absolutely insane. Come check out, look at the spots. And what's sad is these guys are actually endangered they are in the here. wild. Yep. But we're lucky, only in Florida and California, we're the only states that, that actually we were allowed to have them because there's, I guess, hand-me-downs and stuff down here. Yeah. Since we can breed them, but we can't ship them out, unfortunately. We only stay in the state of Florida. You see, you have like some sort of permit and stuff. Yep. But dude. They're dope. There's they're a lot of them dope. in here. Look at the different spots. Every single one has different spots and different patterns. Look. And they're so cute. They're so cute. And when they're older, they lose the spots on the shell, but they keep them on their body. Yeah. They're like, you know what, black spotted turtles or black pond turtles? Black pond called? turtles, yeah. Dude, that is insane. But they get big and really, really pretty. Yeah, like what, 12 inches, I yeah. think, was what I was reading and stuff like that. But dude, these have actually been a dream of mine ever since I saw them on Animal Planet one time. Yeah. I was like, I gotta get them. And he made it happen as well as Mike made it happen. So, Definitely. Bro, I know you're busy. You got a lot of stuff to worry about with the ponds with the barn, everything like that. So we're going ahead and just pick the three real quick okay. and then head out of here. Yeah, you can pick any three you want. Yeah? All right, sweet. Lily, from up there, do you see any specific one you'd like to see? Up here, um, how about this guy This guy right, right here? There. All right, without the lettuce, of course. <laughs> they love lettuce. Look at this guy, hello, so look at the face. This They're so adorable. They're so Gorgeous. adorable. So we're gonna get this guy. All right. Some of them are a little bit more whiter than others. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit more white spots on them. Yeah, that one's insane. That one's insane. That one's crazy really insane. That's our second baby. That's the second baby. Oh. So Get them all cute. lined up right here. Look at them. Single file line. Look at this one here too. They're so amazing. I love the height. Look at this little one. Is it cute? So you want to keep them all around the same size, or does it matter? They're all, it doesn't matter. They all hatch about the same time, anyways. Because they all seasoned not too long ago, so they all hatched out pretty much the same time of the year. Faces, they're so calm, and they all look. <laughs> look at that. They're so curious. This one's really cute. Him? Yeah. All right. All right cool. That's the third. There so I was go. thinking we should name them the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all three together. Now I was thinking about Raphael, Leonardo, and Donatello. And Donatello, if, if that one turns into a girl, it'll be Don. So we're good. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Oh, you can't even tell what, what's going to be a male or female now, right? They're too, too little. So yeah, that's and They hit that's about six right inches, seven inches to be able to tell. Oh, dude, that is what I'm talking about. So I think these three are going to be the ones we take home. 
Sounds good. Lake, you're the man with the plan. So now Appreciate there's you eight left in here. Eight left, and we're going to make one million babies together. There you go. Well, with <laughs> turtles, not just you and me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to go ahead and head to the nearest pet store and start getting them all set up with a new home. And Slayers, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to my boy, Lake's Exotic Animal Ranch, he has a whole bunch of little baby turtles and everything like that, and he's doing big things in this industry. So if you also want to go ahead and pick up your own tortoise or turtle, hit him up. He has some for sale. What do we have here? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right, Slayers. We're heading to Pet Supermarket to get them their permanent home. You excited? Yeah. They're so cute. They need a new tank. They're so adorable. I love them so much. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Follow Joey Slay. Alrighty, we got everything we need. We got our turtles. We got our women. We're heading home. All right, Slayers. So we made it to the Slay House and we're here. And I decided to go ahead and get a beautiful kit for our new baby turtles. Yes, our baby turtles. So this is a Zilla kit, and I wanted this kit because I want to have happy and healthy turtles. As you can see, it's the complete kit for keeping your pet healthy. So it comes with everything you need. I'm gonna set it up with you guys on today's video, and also have some fun with our brand new baby turtles. So I decided to go ahead and change it where Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch mark right now, because I am in the turtle mood. Look at this. Our baby Indian spotted. They're doing good. I had them outside soaking for just a little bit. So we're gonna put these guys over here. They're gonna be right next to us as we set up everything for the new tank. Let's open this up and see what we got in here. Come on. We have a tank. We have styrofoam and stuff. We have a nice screen cover so they can't escape, which is completely fabricated for this. Oh yeah. This is awesome. I'm excited. Ooh. Look at that screen cover. Nice. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. We have two lamps as well. We have the setup care guide right here on how to take care of your aquatic turtles, which I kind of know how already. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that you can get a kit so you too can go ahead and have beautiful aquatic turtles yourself. So there's a the tank. Gotta get this thing out. Oh yeah. Alright. Gotcha. Thank you, Lenny. How are we? I'm like, oh, hello? You're welcome. So what's really cool about this tank is it's actually missing this part of the glass so that you can go ahead and put your hang-on filter right here. So, Slayers, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to set up your Zilla tank right now. So this awesome complete turtle kit comes with some filters, comes with some plants, floating pieces, light bulbs. Like I said, huge lamps as well for your daytime, nighttime deal, water conditioner everything you could possibly need to go ahead and start taking care of your turtle. On top of that, I went ahead and I purchased a larger floating platform so when they get bigger, they can go ahead and rest on this one as well. And to add some greenery to the tank, I have some fake plants. I also have floating plants and other types of plants that I grow at home. So in the future, we're gonna be adding those to the tank because it's also very good to incorporate some greens into their diet because they like eating some of the plants as well and they're also carnivorous. So we're gonna add that in the future. We're gonna get, we're gonna have, oh, whoa. Everything's connected as you can see, so nothing falls apart. But you have also floating pellets and everything like that. Is that what it is? Aquatic food. So we have Missouri. We have everything we're gonna need to pretty much take care of our turtles. All right, so we have this lid that you put right here and it sits just like that. Took me a little bit to figure it out, but yeah. Has everything you need so your turtles don't get out but also you have the water that can suck up from a low gradient and be released in a higher gradient and you're good. And you have your little terrarium aquarium. But these turtles are aquatic, so you don't need to have much land, but they do bask. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it all set up, perfect and good to go, and I'll meet you back here. All right, Slayers, so as you can see, we're just about done setting up our brand new turtle tank. Check it out, guys. It looks good. Nice crystal clear conditioned water because it comes with water conditioner. We have a beautiful filter here that sucks water up from the bottom to the top and lets it run all the way through. Nice floating platform. Everything you need to go ahead and have a perfect tank for your beautiful turtles. Now let's go ahead and check out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at them, they're so little. Hi guys. They're so beautiful, I love them, they're so cute. Oh, I can't wait to have them in here and swimming around and grow real big and stuff. So, what we're gonna go ahead and do is add the finishing touches right now. Whoa. Probably add that thing there. What do you think, babe? Right there. It looks cute. Looks good right there. So, mm -hmm. cool thing is they have suction cups for these little things here. So, we're just going to add that right there. Come on. 
And I think we're good. Yep. Looks great. Suction cups everywhere so everything sticks. And we're gonna add floating plants on top so they can eat those as well as enjoy life, feed them good and happy and healthy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and add our turtles. So here you go. We have Donatello. I have no idea how we're gonna go ahead and figure out who's who, but we're just gonna name them by name and we're just gonna call them the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So here's the first one. Come on, Don, we're gonna put you right on top of here. There you go. Oh, he almost disappeared, Aww. he's so cute. All right, that's number one. Number two, it's gonna be Leo, Leonardo. Look at Leo. What a cute. Look at that face. A face we all love so dearly. All right, we're gonna add him right here. Here you go. Yay. Oh, oh, he's moving around. He likes his rock. <laughs> Leo's rock. And then here's number three. Here's Raphael. Raphael's so cute. Or if it's a woman in the future, Raffaella. Leonardo. I, I don't know. <laughs> Leah. We'll change all the names. We don't know. We can't really tell what the sexes are right now. But look at this face. What a cutie. What a cutie. Shout out again to Mike and Blake's Exotic Adam Moranch for making it happen. There are our guys right there. Look at that. So cute. Chilling. They'll swim around. Swim through here as well. Get back on top. The movement is not so much, so it's not going to be too much for them since they're nice and little. So, Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, thank you for everything you guys are doing, and I'll see you in the next Slay Venture. Booyah. <laughs>